Ben's Raider Chili's. So I'm gonna do another uh, soda review today. I'm gonna be doing um, Wild Red Zero Sugar. It's the uh, HEB brand. HEB is, uh, that's this company, they're the grocery store in Texas. They're really popular. If you ever watch basketball, the Spurs have a bunch of HEB commercials that were like memes in like the 2012, 2015, 2010. Um, this is a knockoff of Big Red. Big Red is a, um, I've done a review on it before, but those who don't know what it is, it's a vanilla cream red soda. Uh, at first I thought it tasted kind of like um, bubble gum, but I think it actually, on their website, it's, it says it's a misnomer essentially, and that <clears throat> it actually is kind of like a citrus, like a lemon citrus, maybe orange citrus. Uh, so that's kind of more the ballpark. Maybe I think, you know, bubblegum might have like a similar profile as well. I think that's why there's some mix up there. Um, this does have a little bit more, uh, I, thought, I thought it was kind of cool in the, on the back, it's uh, in English and Spanish. Um, I'm assuming because it's like a big Texas company, you know, you're gonna have a lot of Spanish speakers there. Um, and the, so the one big difference that I've seen so far is that I mean, it looks about the same. It does have a decent amount more caffeine. I believe that Big Red has 34 milligrams a can, 12 ounce can. This has 54 and I wish it just had 39 because then I could drink three basically before hitting 100 milligrams of caffeine, which everybody has their own range. But for me, I, you know, that's nice. Whereas drinking two of these, I'm gonna get over 100. So that's a little bit of a downside, I guess. Smells exactly like Big Red so far. I mean, Dead Ringer. A lot of like, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I could drink it out of the can, but I just, I don't drink it out of the can. Um, let's see the color. Color looks like exactly the same as well. Um, I've heard HEB is like a really good company. Uh, you know, the one I went to, I mean, I was impressed. I mean, it looks really nice. It's in McKinney, so McKinney's kind of a nicer suburb, but um, so I guess it would be nicer. But, uh, Got to take my L-theanine. <clears throat> you guys don't think L-theanine, it's like a uh, amino acid that's found naturally in green tea that helps kind of make caffeine better, basically. But um, yeah, it smells exactly like Big Red. Something I don't like with these knockoffs sometimes is like, they'll try to do something different, you know? But this, 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 sounds, this feels like a dead ringer so far. So I'm a big, big red fan. I'm sorry, it's like so similar. I'm like really, I don't think I've ever had a knockoff that is that similar. That's crazy. And it's like half the price basically, so. The caffeine difference though, I mean, that's tough for me. But um, for a lot of people that probably would be a positive, but it is different though. I mean, it's not, it's not identical. But it's, it's such a loud flavor and it's so close. I 100% would say if you have, you know, I mean, this is only for people in Texas basically, but if you, you know, this is a dead ringer. Like this is very, very, very close. So those who haven't had Big Red, okay. I wish I had, I probably should have a Big Red as well. It's a little bit more vanilla, I think. I mean, it's not identical. Like, there's different kind of waves, flavor waves, that kind of come in and out, that peak early, drop fast. Like, it's not identical. I'm pretty sure I could tell the difference in a taste test as well. But it's not worse. 
You know, that's the, I don't think. It's so hard for me to parse out how it is different because I think it's basically the exact same pr flavor profile with slightly different, like, if you could kind of turn up the knobs, you know, or I guess turn them like this, like turn the vanilla up a little bit, like turn the, the uh, lemon flavor, you know, a certain degree, like turn the artificial sweetener up a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's, I mean, this is for people who like Big Red. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge Big Red fan. Like, in my video initially, I <clears throat> wasn't too taken aback by it. You know, I wasn't too impressed. But, I don't know, like, the more I drank it, like, as the weeks went on. I mean, I only drink sodas, like, once or twice a week, maybe three times a week. But on the days I do drink, I drink a lot. And the more I drank it, the more it basically just became my entire daily driver. My entire soda profile was basically Big Red. Like, I just, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just really like it. Like, I mean, it's very unique. So I, I should probably try to describe it, the flavor. As, as an individual, you know, soda. Like, not in comparison to Big Red, but... So you get probably a little bit less bite than the bigger red. Like I just broke my own rule, but you get a little bit less. You get a little bit of bite, a little bit of lot, like lemon, like citrus. Then you get the vanilla, and the cream and the vanilla are basically connected. And then you get those two. I will say, you know, you know what's kind of interesting actually is that one thing I will say: what this does better than Big Red <laughs> is the aftertaste. The aftertaste of Big Red is probably its weakest point. It's Big Red Zero. These are all, I only drink Zero, but the the aftertaste is like the weakest point of this soda. And it leaves kind of like a medicine-y, but not like majorly medicine-y, like really minorly kind of, it's not good going out. And I've noticed that a lot of these newer diet sodas, Zero Sugars, are a little bit better on the the exit of the flavor, you know? So Big Red leaves you kind of, excuse me, in just kind of a, it's the weakest point of the soda, is the exit. The, the flavor crumbles and it's just not great. This is better. This is a, you know, a lot better. Like, it's sweeter. It, instead of kind of like a whiny, um, Medicine-y, like it's still there, but they, they actually flipped it so it's actually sweet on the exit flavor, which is really impressive. Like that's a good amount better than, I mean, it's a lot better than Big Red. Man, okay, so I've heard people say that they like these sodas better than the originals, which is insane. Like, this is the only brand of soda in the world, as far as a grocery chain, basically, that can outcompete their competitors that they're knocking off. It's it's incredible. Um, and I, uh, you know, this is at least equal, probably, to Big Red. I wouldn't say, initially, I wouldn't say that at first. I, I need to drink more of each as the days go on, you know, and kind of really delve in and I might make a follow-up video actually uh because it's you know I, I just need more I need more reference reference points <clears throat> but I mean it's incredible like this could be better than the original um if it wasn't for the how how much better it finishes then I would say Big Red was better I think but because it finishes so much stronger than Big Red, the the actual experience of the flavor is so similar with just a little bit different notes here and there turned up and down. Like it's basically the exact same, but just different. This this is kind of the, has a more of a strength, kind of more noticeably, at least in one part of the flavor and the experience is that this is clearly better at the end. And at the beginning, Big Red, probably is better maybe but it's not 
like it's not it doesn't differentiate itself enough I, I can't really tell which is a better initially so I'd have to kind of go in there <laughs> if nothing else these are probably tied I would give I, get, I would give this the edge it, the finish probably a tie in the overall flavor probably a little bit like 10 20 percent more big red so a little bit more big red there but this is like a hundred percent better on the finish where I will say the big red is better for me personally is the less caffeine 39 milligrams a can versus 54 is a pretty big difference so I would put these at a tie and this is like half the price of a big red I mean I, I got them on sale you know buy one get one so the big red I got was five dollars and this is like four dollars a 12 pack so it'd be hard for me to not just get this I mean it's a pretty pretty amazing I can't believe how good it is <laughs> um I probably should have gotten the uh the, the Dr. B knockoff, Dr. Pepper knockoff, Dr. B, you know, I don't drink Coke, but that's the only, I, I, they also had like a, um, grapefruit soda one. Uh, I probably should have gotten that as well, but I don't know. I was just there for big red, you know, um, cause I live in Oklahoma. I had to drive down there to get this stuff. <clears throat> so, which I was, I'm, I'm happy with. I, I just, I love these sodas so much. Um, I just can't really see myself drinking non calf Like, you know, this this is basically what I'm drinking now. So. Anyway, my initial feelings is that this probably edges out Big Red. Um, and I can 100% vouch for these H-E-B brand sodas. These are insane. I mean, these are way beyond the Walmart knockoffs or my local best choice, like Homeland, you know, that's a local grocery homeland. I should probably stop rambling so much. I've really gone on a lot, but I just, I love Big Red and this is like really impressed me. So I'm very happy I got these because I almost didn't get any of these. I was like, ah, well, but I'm very, very happy I did. I'll definitely be buying more. I mean, I probably would just get those. Like even if Big Red is maybe a little bit better overall, I just can't imagine the price difference, like especially if they're not on sale justifying so i would say wild red is better wild red zero is better anyway um i planted my super hots I, I don't know how much of like a cross uh pollination or mix of viewers i have uh for my super hots part of my channel but i mean i like super hots i like diet soda so i mean obviously there's some overlap um but i planted about 45 to 50 varieties and i'll be trying those probably not a full pepper this year because it's so hard on me. I have like a lot of dis diseases. So they're kind of telling me to slow down. So I will be testing probably 45 to 50 uh, super hots though in the, in the summer, not in the spring. It's going to be in the summer. They, they just, they take forever to ripen. <clears throat> um, I will probably do some more soda reviews, but none for the foreseeable future. I don't think I'm going to do, I am going to get the Mountain Dew Purple Thunder Zero. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited for that. That looks pretty cool. Um, besides that though, I mean, I really just don't have any content coming down the pike. So yeah, um, hope you, I hope you guys found these, this review helpful. It's obviously only for people in Texas, but, and Big Red fans, which is like a really small, maybe small minority. I don't know how many people drink Big Red down there. Um, probably a lot, I would guess. I mean, I that's where I first, you know, had it, I, I, I fell in love. Um, but you know, it, it really only made it to up to Oklahoma, like maybe like in the last five or 10 years that I know of anyway, maybe it was before, but I mean, I, I, don't, I remember growing up and not seeing it anywhere until I went to Texas, wherever I was in college, which was like 10, 15 years ago. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but thanks for tuning in guys. And uh, yeah, that definitely gets two thumbs up. And until next time, you guys take care, bye.